One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's up, everyone? It's uh, Tom Dizzo here. I uh, hope you guys had a you know good day. Uh, it's Friday. Uh, I mean, today is not really that slow. Uh, the market has been, you know, pretty good. Uh, we have some nice setup uh, in morning, and uh, the watch list was pretty, you know, on fire this morning. Uh, Alex, uh, you know, he was uh, in Miami this morning, so that's why I, I wrote the uh, watch list. Here we have, you know, um, PDSB was pretty spot on, 7.5. Mosi uh, 5.5 uh, that was pretty good I mean uh, I think some of you took advantage of that uh, so which is really nice uh, is that PDSB and uh, yeah 7.5 look at that guys I mean you know you know you couldn't get any better than that uh, 7.5 uh, you know you pretty much get like I don't know like 50 cents 60 cents right here uh, the other one, <coughs> Mosi put out 5.5 as well. Let's see, you know, right on the dot uh, was, you know, again, uh, 30, 40 cents right there. Uh, PRPO even, uh, you know, I traded that one as well. Uh, 470 uh, was, you know, 470 Mosi, uh, you know, so pretty solid day. Uh, you know, and also stress free as well. Uh, you know, 470 uh, was right here. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, I just want to kind of uh, quickly go over one of the topics today and also, you know, more like a, one of the trades today I took. And uh, I think, you know, I got several DMs asking about this. Uh, so, you know, I might as well just uh, kind of go over. Uh, you know some like like more details uh, regarding this trade uh, I mean this topic has been has been covered before uh, it's pretty much more like channel trading uh, so I just want to go over kind of uh, the PDSB the trade I took today uh, so the channel trading right this is like the symmetrical kind of trading uh, pretty much the same like Bao did every day you guys have seen him uh, you know his chart almost every single day in the main chat pretty much you know uh, similar to this a multiple kind of scalp uh, you know once the top set you just find the range and, and 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 you know trying to kind of scalp it and you know this is to me it's it's really <coughs> good setup uh, because why because uh, you know the uh, the risk is really small and you know and it it really adds up right I think I got it twice uh, around like I don't know 17 18 cents so let's say you know 20 cents twice 40 cents here right but i was risking like less than you know 10 cents so uh if you you know do the math uh you know 10 cents and got 40 is almost like 4 to 1 uh the profit ratio so i think it's pretty good and uh but uh i just want to kind of go over uh you know in depth a little bit so you guys can understand the reasoning behind it and you know how to basically get the fill and also how to stop out if you know things uh you know turn this out right so i'm gonna bring up here maybe closer look at this so you can guys can you know see it maybe clear so the big term picture here uh right pdsb uh i kind of avoid it uh you know like <coughs> midday zombie uh time uh, my my process uh you know it's been you know i mentioned several times in main chat uh trade the first hour and come back uh in the afternoon after 2 p.m and as you can see here's the 2 p.m right so that's uh where i mean the time of the day is good i like to you know trade those and also it was uh because of this uh, more like it uh, you want you know pretty much like faded uh, after even the 2 p.m. So I got no chance here. I was hoping for a pop to, you know, 9. Never got, you know, there. So, 
uh, there wasn't not you know there wasn't much left for me to kind of uh, you know trade so and then uh, when I saw PDSB quickly uh, I saw you know the stock was grinding higher so I was not interested in this kind of move at all <clears throat> until you know this week's uh, put, uh, you know put out the top here you know uh, watch down and try to bounce back you know stuff again and you know, to me, this one, 840, 43, I would say, uh, this is like the top is set for me. And like this one, 43, 44. So to me, this is the top. Top has been set. Uh, and I just want to be able to, uh, you know, scale back into that bounce and, you know, pretty much, you know, trade it, right? So the thesis behind this is, pretty much same similar to channel trading once the top set you just want to scale back into that top right <clears throat> and stop over okay so I'm gonna go uh, a little bit in depth uh, regarding this uh, on how you can actually play this uh, you know in 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 real time so there's a couple scenarios uh, that you uh, might want to consider uh, for me you know uh, I, I chose the line right that I'm interested in so let's say uh, yeah so my based on my entry here uh, 837 uh, it's right here hey guys my name is Tosh Bradley I'm one of the head mentors and moderators at my investing club if you have any questions about getting started in trading getting started in MIC MIC in general text me at 213-458-5997 this is not a robot it is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club we also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. 8.37, I was risking literally, you know, seven cents, right? Let's say like that. And I was being able to, you know, like the sym symmetrical kind of, uh, I just put the orders there and, you know, put a target here and, you know, it did exactly the same thing twice. That's it, right? And so the idea behind is that you figure out the line, you put an order out, okay, and then you wait. So the first scenario is that you know one once it hits into your line 837. So let's say you're gonna get in, okay. So like you have two plans here. Either you're gonna put a stop at 844, 845, whatever, really tight stop, right, for that seven eight cents, <clears throat> in order to get I don't know 17 18 cents. Uh, in this case, right, it work, okay. So that's the first scenario. You want to have a tie stop, you know, you don't want to scale. That's it. Totally fine. Okay. So you can risk whatever you're comfortable losing. I don't know, like 1,000 shares, 2,000 shares, whatever. Okay. 1,000 here is like 80 bucks, 2,160. Depends on your account. Risk management, up to you. So that would be the first scenario, right? So tight stop. That's it. The second one is uh, what usually Balco calls it. And I think this is like the way that he trades as well. So once, like he put out the order 837 here and the moment stock break this line, okay, breaks this 844, he's not adding anymore, right? But he's not stopping out at this, right? So he want to kind of see how the stock kind of react to that. And he's going to cover in that dip, right? So let's say, it's gonna be similar to like this one, okay? So let's say here, 47. Let's say, you know, you're gonna you know, trade like bow. So you have like, you're gonna scale two bullets, 37, 47, right? You know, hits both. And the moment it breaks that 850 and go into this 864, bow, he, like, you don't wanna cover into the top, okay? And he waited for the dip to get back into so let's say your average is 842 here, right? So, you know, he waited for the drop back into that 842 and get out basically. Because right after that, you know, broke the channel, this is no longer valid. You just want to get out, right? But the idea is that you don't want to stop out right at the top, but you want to, you know, to stop out on that pullback, which is this one. And after when it drop, you know, you get out. Basically, that's it. Be done for the day. Okay, and you like you're not gonna uh, argue with that. That okay, so I might want to hold longer so it can drop here, and you know might feel frustrated. No, because this is the part of the plan. There's only two scenarios. Either you're gonna have tight stop, 
when the range you know gets broken like this you need to stop out tight stop or the other you know scenario is that you want to see how the kind of stock reacts to that right you know breaks this line you are not adding anymore because you have to be comfortable with whatever size you're using right you're not adding anymore but you want to wait for that pullback to get out so let's just say hypothetically what if the stock didn't pull back at all right so in that case you know there's always the scenario like this like you know shit happens anything could happen in in, in in trading right so let's say it's gonna go all the way into this 890 okay so like usually this is uh, you know gonna help you from time to time I mean there's no easier way how to say it or like you know how to kind of spot it but you can tell if the stock is really strong okay so if you know stock going to that 864 right and doesn't have a move like this but it's more like you know uh, dropping back here and grinding grinding higher then that's the sign for you to get out okay this is not something that you want to play with because you know y like the reason why you didn't you know have tie stop here the reason why you want to kind of wait for that uh, you know break out is that you are thinking that the the pullback is gonna happen okay which it did and but if the the fast pullback didn't happen right away and it was like saving here and grinding grinding yes you need to get out okay and on something like this you can easily tell, uh, you know, uh, because you know the, the the stock is not like low floater like uh, you want in here, uh, since uh, you have that volatile kind of move, like uh, you know going straight from this line to this line, you know, like in one minute, right? So, on something like this low floater, uh, you know, th there's there's n like I think there's no. Uh, way for you to kind of do that uh, you know from you know if you want to trade uh, this kind of stock based on that range only you know you need to have like uh, I, I would recommend for you to kind of uh, have a hard stop you know at whatever uh, the area that uh, you uh, choose uh, so for me uh, on this uh, type of trade um, I think I short it here as well and you know I ended up uh, being stopped out right at this I put the hard stop at 912 which is my average but it kind of filled me you know another 10 cents above right but you know it kind of saved me from 920 to all the way to 1060 right but you know on something like this low flow I mean uh, you just don't want to kind of uh, have room to kind of wiggle or like you just don't want to argue with that right so and pretty much like okay so I'm, I'm just gonna say like on on this one as well once you spot out the range right let's say you want to short here 37 something like that and this is should be your stop right 8 10 60 8 or whatever so if you short it up here you definitely want to put a hard stop above this one instead you know waiting for it you know wait it out for for it to kind of break this and then pull back and then cover no on something like this you just want to get out because you know it's moving really fast and so this is like uh, uh, pretty much the the thing I want to kind of cover uh, you know and PDSB uh, this is uh, you know why I call like uh, symmetric trading uh, symmetrical trading uh, it's it's you know it's it's really that simple okay guys so top set right you just put out orders there and you know scale back into that bounce you know same same size same line same you know same stop and same cover okay if you want to kind of you know uh, have uh, like if you don't want to have you know a hot stop like you know tight stop here you can use uh, you know what I just tell you but uh, keep in mind that there's always pros and cons right with tight stop it you know it kind of take uh, you know less pressure uh, you know takes off the pretty much the pressure uh, regarding this one but if you allowing for the stock to kind of pop and then you know you're gonna cover like you you don't want to be the part of the herd right and sometimes it's not that easy okay guys like uh, you know you have to be really okay with the stock 
you know, being popped all the way here and then drop back, right? As a new trader, emotional trader, I probably would not recommend uh, here for you to do that. Maybe when, uh, once you have more experience like Bao or like, you know, Alex or whatever, like the guys are, are doing, you know, for, for decades now. So you can do that as well, but thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent